Welcome to another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor. I'm Chris McMillan, joined as always by Woodstock Mayor Trevor Birch. Trevor, uh, a sad day uh, in Woodstock. A lot of people found out this morning that they will be losing their job in 2018 with the announcement from Firestone. Uh, what are your comments after hearing about the uh, plant closure? Well, for myself, first of all, my thoughts go out to all of the employees and families that are affected by this, and uh, we will work with you to make sure that uh, the transition is smooth and help find uh, new employment here in our area. There's a lot of great opportunities going on within the city right now. Of course, Firestone has been a part of our community for over 80 years, and I myself, I even spent a few years there as a summer student uh, doffing those machines. So I know uh, many of the workers that are there that have been affected by this, and I know that Firestone is committed to working with those employees as well as working with the city to make sure that we repurpose that property for uh, the future use. And what are some of the things the city can do when uh you hear about a closure like this that's going to impact hundreds of workers? Well, through all of our economic development uh, resources as well as our alliances that we have with others, uh, we'll be conducting job fairs and other information will be coming out in the future about that. So uh, this announcement today, as they wind down the production, there's about a year and a half left uh, at that facility. I guess that's the good news is that um, the employees will have some time uh, to search for another job. That's right, big adjustment for some. Um, I know that within the release that was given today, there will be uh, severances for many of the employees and uh, uh, Firestone, Ridgestone is committed to uh, making sure that they leave the community better off than they found it. Obviously this is a developing story, so we'll provide you with updates as they come. Uh, as you mentioned, 80 years in the community, so this one probably has to sting a lot, Just considering how long Firestone had been in Woodstock. That's right, and um, you know, you look at the, the history, we still have the original facility at uh, Oxford and Ingersoll Ave, that was plant number one, and uh, so a lot of memories in our city. Um, I was in the boardroom at City Hall this morning, and I saw uh, in our display case that uh, promotes local industry, some of the uh, nylon and uh, fibers and cords that are made at the Firestone facility there on display. Um. Uh, that was all the questions I had for you today, uh, Trevor. Uh, obviously, we do have council coming up Thursday night. Heart FM will have our reporter, Marcy Colbert, will be there. We'll have the news on that um, the following morning on Friday and the subsequent week. Uh, is it going to be filmed this week, do you know? Uh, yes, this will be uh, a week that it will be filmed and broadcast on Rogers. Uh, in the off meetings where Rogers is not broad broadcasting, we will be uh, using city staff to uh, film and have those meetings streaming on the internet. I know that for the last meeting where we did that for the first time, staff did a great job. Uh, some of the uh, mics, we'll need to make sure that we're speaking clearly into the mics so that uh, people who are streaming that meeting on the internet will be able to hear all of the questions and comments properly. Absolutely. So great to know that uh, if you do enjoy watching those council meetings, um, you will be able to do so in the future. Uh, I'm Chris McMillan, joined as always by Woodstock Mayor Trevor Birch, and make sure to join us again next time for another edition of Web Chat with the Mayor.